welcome to Think Tech on Spectrum OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm R.B. Kelly. And I'm Cynthia Sinclair. In our show this time, we'll visit the 2018 Ellison Onizuka Day of Exploration event presented by the Aloha Council of the Boy Scouts of America. It was the traditional makahiki event of the Aloha Council, appropriately expanded to center on science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. The annual makahiki of the Aloha Council of the Boy Scouts of America has been a tradition since 1911 and is the oldest and longest running scout show in the country. Since last year, the makahiki has been known as the Ellison Onizuka Day of Exploration. It's a huge full day STEM event and is free and open to the public. It's named after the heroic Hawaii born U.S. astronaut Ellison Onizuka, who was lost in the tragic Challenger spaceship accident. The event is hosted by the 12,000 scouts of the Aloha Council as a scout service to the community, and especially the keiki, and is centered around STEM because so many of the scout merit badges these days are centered around STEM. It is the largest STEM event in Hawaii. So, as we always do, we walk the floor and check the booths, workshops, and presenters. We talk to the scouts and their families and friends, and to the officials and organizers who were there. As you can see, there was exploration in the air. Indeed, this is what the scouts and STEM are all about. Science, technology, energy, and mathematics, I mean, it's great stuff that they do down here to bring the community out and expose them to scouts, to expose them to, you know, science, technology, and be one big aloha hunt out here, if you will. We're out here to uh, purvey, you know, the, the joy of scouting to everybody, as well as is further, you know, STEM, because that's becoming an even bigger part uh, of everyday life now, especially uh, hitting at the younger ages. Yeah, you know, get kids involved in science and the technologies so they can build, really, in, in essence, a better world for us. Mr. Kasaoka is mesmerizing when he teaches knots. 20 years ago, when I went to uh, um, basic leader training, Mr. Kasoka was teaching knots. So he's, he's had having a great time. Yes, and the is. kids are having a great time. Yes. I want to be a kid again. It's clear. Don't you want to be a kid again? <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> See here? We've got the old incandescent light bulb technology and, the, of course, the newer one, the LED technology. Of course, the LED technology saves you energy and saves you money. It takes more effort to light up that incandescent light bulb, so it's a good analogy to how much energy you're actually wasting by trying to power up an incandescent light bulb. Where did they get the Hawaii and the Hawaiian electric hats? A booth right next to our booth. So the, this is what makes it um, turn and open. So this goes up like when you press this one right here, and then as you're closing it and opening it, you press the middle. And then when you want to just rotate it, you can just pull or push on it and it's going to go side to side. So where did you get the Hawaiian electric hats? I want to get one. The kids are building the racers and they race on, on, on one of these tracks and they're having great time. Why don't you make one and try I, it? I, I may do that, yeah. yeah. Let's go. So who, who is winning? You know, that boy kept challenging everybody. Did you see that? That yeah. one. That, that one is okay. a pretty good one. What do you have to do to win? You get like the big wheels, and then you just put a lot of Legos on top of it. And then it goes really fast. Yeah. I get my yellow hat. Right there. I understand you have yellow hats here. Yes, we do. Yeah. I think, I think I might want one. Oh, yeah. Today we're helping out and showing some of our drones and some of our um, meteorological equipment. I'm sure you guys know about the weather, you know, the weather forecast. They mentioned the probability that a chance it's going to rain. For us as a utility, we use this MET station to kind of forecast how much power is going to be produced by renewable energy. This is one of the sensors that we have out on the MET station. It's called a poweranometer. It measures the uh, sun's intensity. So when the sun rises, oh. it will show that much. Yeah. And as the day goes by, the sun moves, of course. And when you approach noon, you're going to notice it goes much higher. That's the reason why we have this MET station, to kind of do a forecast so we can see what's going to happen before it actually arrive. This is the drones that we have in the area, and I believe they use this to do a survey of equipment on the field, instead of someone manually going out there and, you know, risking their life. Are you an Eagle Scout? I was actually, yes I was. 
because the, the theme of the Makahiki is Ellison Onizuka, um, they've asked me to man this booth. And of course, doing STEM, we try to make it interactive. So when, when the kids come up, I ask them a question about Ellison Onizuka, and if they get it right, they get a patch. If I'm one of those kids who doesn't know who Ellison Onizuka was, can you tell me now who he was? What do you say to them? Well, basically, he was um, an Eagle Scout and known as the first astronaut from the state of Hawaii. How is it working out? Are the kids able to answer your question? I try to make them age appropriate. So sometimes you just ask them what their name is or if they're having fun. I run our outdoor program, so I'm actually looking uh, for staff for my uh, resident camps during the summer. Uh, I'm also talking with all the packs and troops to talk about outdoor opportunities uh, here on Oahu for Camp Pupake and also on Big Island at Camp Honokaia and on Kauai with Camp Island Faye. So that's really why I'm here. You're a good man to know then. Maybe. We're having an awesome time. The kids are enjoying themselves. You know, it's opening up their imaginations, trying to get them going, and uh, they're loving it. What kinds of things do they seem to like? They like more the robotic side and all kind of stuff actually, but yeah, mainly the robotics. So engineering for this guy. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. You, want, you want to encourage them to go into the Boy Scouts? Yes, sir. Definitely. And I suppose to get into STEM, huh? Yes, definitely. Just a more hands-on education for them. You know, and that's, that's what I like about it. Gets him thinking, gets me involved with his work also. So, yeah. It's great. We learn through our kids, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> we have the District Run of Pinewood Derby here at Makahiki. He's been doing this for years and he's helped many generations, you know, become full Eagle Scouts. That can get one of those. Oh, that is impressive. So if you win, you get that, huh? You must be the most popular guys in town. Yeah, so this is um, Aloha Council. So the Boy Scouts, the Cub Scouts of America, we're here putting on the one of the largest STEM events in the country. Um, definitely the largest STEM event in Hawaii. Um, so we got a lot of cool things. We got um, underwater robots. Um, so they're kind of like little mini submarines with uh, cameras attached to them. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got like kids making slime. We got um, some cranes, like some robotic cranes. We got some uh, model T-Rexes, some dinosaurs, some archaeology going on. Um, we got some ge uh, geography um, kind of cool technology stuff that they have. So we got a lot of cool booths here today. I'm um, kind of just trying to demonstrate to the kids and trying to inspire them so they can grow and um, provide more for the future for us, yeah. Aloha everyone, we have Think Tech here. Uh, last year was the first year we had the Onizuka Day of Exploration. Uh, it used to be more like a uh, scout festival, uh, but because we weren't attracting the public, we changed it to a STEM theme. And last year was great, we uh, attracted over 7,000 people. And the nicest thing is that it's really a family event. You know, you have whole families coming together, they're building things, and, and they're just having fun together. You know, we just organize it. We just kind of have the format and, and put the booths up. But the families and the young people, they're the, one, they're the ones that make it. They actually uh, come, they have fun, bring their energy. And, and this year, I, I think it's better than last year because uh, we actually know what we're doing a little bit more. It's, I think it was a, a smoother experience for the volunteers and, and for, for the public. I'm pretty sure we have uh, quite a few more people than, than we did last year. Uh, I guess we'll get the final count uh, afterwards, but, but, but the main thing, you know, I see a lot of people having fun, so, so you know, I think we, we already achieved our goal. My favorite uh, exhibit so far has been the rock wall. Oh. And I wonder if you've climbed that, and if you haven't, met, whether we could climb that together. Okay, you're on. Fabulous organization. A great history in Hawaii, a great record. Long history, a very long history, a very long record, and that was definitely something that drew me to Boy Scouts here in Hawaii. It was just, you know, there's this great depth, so many different people involved from so many walks of life. So I was, I was excited to come on board. It's going to be good for you and good for us. I think so. So uh, you know, we walked around and we, we see all these parents with their kids. You can look, we have, we have miles of film about parents and kids, and and they're all like together, and you wonder if the 
parents spend that much time with their kids outside of the Boy Scouts here. You know, this is like a, a magnet draws families together. I noticed that. It absolutely draws families together. And that's one of the great things. It's not an isolated activity where you drop your kid off, you know, for a few hours and, you know, they are on their own. But it's something that entire families, you know, brothers and sisters, moms and dads, grandparents, the whole community can all get involved and participate in together. So the selection of the volunteers is really beautiful. And that's really key, and that's really what I'm starting to learn more about here with the Aloha Council at Boy Scouts of America, is just how much the volunteers really contribute, how many volunteers there are. There are thousands of adult volunteers who really make the program possible, and I think that's what keeps it exciting, that's what keeps it relevant. Hawaiian Electric everywhere. That's it. <laughs> Thank our sponsors, Hawaiian Electric. So, Ben Franklin, Ace Hardware, they've all been very generous to us today to help put this event on for all the young people of Hawaii. I would imagine you have a lot of support from the community, from sponsors, from parents, from volunteers. I mean, this is, this, you can't do this without that kind of support, and you've done it. You look around you, this is a community coming out for the children of Hawaii, and they're coming out here to put on a great program and help young people discover STEM education. There's 12,000 scouts in Hawaii. There's over 4,500 volunteers who make the program happen. So a great cadre of volunteers that come out and uh, Today here uh, at the Blaisdell, we have uh, community members, we have scouts, we have their friends. They've all come here to be part of this great day of scouting and this great day of STEM. Our underlying theme is hands-on learning, that everybody here should be able to do something. It's not about hearing or being talked to, it's about doing something. So that was our mantra that we put forth to all of our PACs and our troops, make it an interactive, hands-on learning activity. And they really rose to that and they've really delivered. It's been great. Zach, what do you think about what's going on in this big room? What, what, do, what do you notice here? Um, that a lot of people are having fun. Okay, what do you think about the program? Do you like being here? Yeah. You like scouting? Yes. Luke, uh, what do you think about scouting? It's fun and I like playing with my friends also. Okay, and what do you think about Pack 311? It's really fun. I like all events also. And what do you think about Zach? I don't know. He's your brother. I know that. Tigers this year. All these different badges are for all sorts of little skills and topics that you can learn in Boy Scouts. Uh, see, the green ones are the normal ones, and then the ones with silver lining, those are ones that you need to be an Eagle Scout. See, this one here is first aid. There's cooking which became an Eagle required one, but luckily I got it before it got the silver. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, there's disability awareness, camping, uh, oceanography, all sorts. Oh, I'm here with my troop, Troop 201. Uh, we're setting up a Da Vinci bridge, it's really cool. Uh, and I, I love this event, man. Like, you got all sorts of troops all coming together. with just love of scouting, I really love it. Yeah. What's a Da Vinci bridge? A Da Vinci bridge is this bridge design uh, that was devised by Leonardo da Vinci, uh, where it's all these different beams that come together with no glue, no rope, no nails, just tension. And it was designed for, uh, for soldiers to set up a bridge very cheap and very efficiently and very safe uh, during times of war. So we set one up there and all the kids are climbing over it. Can I take a look at it? Yeah. Is it there now? Yeah. Can you walk us over? We got competing da Vinci bridges, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, here it is, right next to the T-Rex. Okay. Is this a is this a scout we see in front of us? Uh, yeah, that's one of our own scouts. This is this is a, another scout volunteer. Are you a scout? Hi. All right. Aloha. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. You should get a merit badge for today. That's what. Yeah. We set up various uh, planks and various spars up in such a way so that. All the weight is supported on all the other bars. Excuse me, we're looking for a volunteer who would walk across the Da Vinci Bridge. W would you be up for that? Sure. It's either you or me, and I don't think it should be me. You don't want a youth going across the Da Vinci Bridge? No, but while we're here, let me ask you, what do you think of this event? Oh, I think it's awesome. It's just a lot of fun, good opportunity to show off scouting to the community, good opportunity for the scouts to see what it's like to give back to the community and to to really introduce STEM to the to the youth, so, so yeah, it was a great event. How do you feel? 
Oh, great. Do you get a merit badge for that? No, I wish we had. You need someone that surfs that has a little balance and can actually walk across the bridge, but that's not yeah. me. I know I can practice. What's, what's the difference between the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts? Cub Scouts are kindergartners to fifth grade, and Boy Scouts are, they transition in fifth grade into uh, Boy Scouts through 18 year olds old. They always go into the Boy Scouts when they're, you know, done with Cub Scouting? They have a pretty good transition rate, yeah. So a lot of them transition in fifth grade and they go over to the Boy Scouts at 11. Are you a parent of a Cub Scout? Not anymore. <laughs> but you were, weren't you? I was. I have an Eagle Scout who's 16, and I have a uh, second class scout who is 12, and they're both at Troop 75 in Pearl City. It's great to be a volunteer, isn't it? It is wonderful to be a volunteer. <laughs> they make fun crafts that we have planned out for them for the week, and they do two crafts a day for those two hours, and they come all week. It's a great, fun time for them. They make new friends this way, and yeah, who doesn't love arts and crafts? Where is it? Is it in many places or one place? This is at Ben Franklin's Crafts in here in Hawaii. This is a velociraptor that uh, Kalani Robotics made out of a material called gator board. It's basically a material with foam on the inside and it's layered with paper on the outside to make it uh, a little bit tougher. The kids are trying to use the rulers to um, get the balls in the cups. Suppose I win, what happens? Um, nothing. This is a great thing to have in your backyard or in your living room if you have a really tall ceiling that is or you don't mind punching a hole in the roof what fun you got exercise you got coordination you got confidence confidence that's what it's all about best thing you can do is teach a young kid confidence that's what the boy scouts does the line was actually much bigger when we first came in, but it's still pretty big. And it still reminds me of TSA at the airport. And the kids climb through the tunnel. I used to do that when I was a kid. I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to do it now. Are you a Boy Scout or a Girl, Girl Scout? Boy Scout. Yeah. Oh, in the day, in the day, yeah? In the day yeah. and the night. <laughs> What do you think of this event today? Oh, I think this is a very important event for the boys, especially, you know, with whatever they have, you know, with the STEM and things like that. I think this is a terrific, you know, I haven't been to a Makahiki for two years, and I think this is a terrific idea. Um, I'm actually the president of the Western Region Venturing. So um, Venturing is a co-ed program for those 13 through 21. Um, I've been in scouting for, um, yeah, about 10 years. So I started as a Cub Scout. I got my um, Eagle Scout Award. And then two years ago, I joined Venturing. I was hoping we'd run into you, yeah. 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 So what do you think of this today? It was a wonderful day. I think the unofficial count right now is about 10,000 uh, guests and families that have come down to experience Onizuka Dev Exploration. So. On, for the council and all of the volunteers that are helping out with this, we're more than uh, happy with the results that we got. You know, this is the first year that the Boy Scouts of America are beginning to uh, have girls be part of the Cub Scout program. Uh, so this is a good opportunity to outreach to the community, make everyone aware that we're making this change uh, for the Boy Scouts and hopefully recruit a whole bunch of new girls as, as Tigers or whatever rank they want to be into the Boy Scouts and then in the year after, it'll be even at the Boy Scout level. So I think it's a great opportunity to, to share STEM with everyone. Thank Your you. name? Jacob. Jacob. My name's Jacob, too. What is this? I never met a Jacob I didn't like. We met so many interesting people. We met so many interesting families and kids from every part of the community. I was really impressed uh, at the kind of people who attended uh, the Ellison Onizuka Discovery Day program. One thing is clear, it was a great idea. Neil Adabara had that idea a couple of years ago and it was wonderfully executed here today. I think it's only gonna be better and better in the future. I think it's gonna be a, a, a huge statement of STEM and a huge statement of family and a sort of a special uh, coming together of the, the community of parents and children and scouts in Hawaii. 
The event was chock-a-block. It had over 100 STEM activity booths and over 50 hands-on workshops. This kind of event is totally relevant and important to the community, the kids, and the scouts. Good for the scouts, good for STEM, and good for Hawaii. Want to know more about the Aloha Council and the Ellison Onizuka Day of Exploration? Check it out at alohacouncilbsa.org. Get your kids involved and celebrate scouting and STEM in Hawaii. And now, let's check out our ThinkTech schedule of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on thinktechhawaii.com, livestream.com, and facebook.com from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. Then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long and on the weekends. And some people listen to them all night long and on the weekends. If you missed a show, or if you want to replay or share any of our shows, they're all archived on demand on thinktechhawaii.com and YouTube. For our audio stream, go to thinktechhawaii.com slash audio. And we post all our shows as podcasts on iTunes. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for our weekly calendar and live stream Facebook and YouTube links. Or better yet, sign up on our email list and get our daily email advisories. ThinkTech has a high-tech green screen studio at Pioneer Plaza. If you want to see it or be part of our live audience, or if you want to participate in our shows, contact shows at thinktechhawaii.com. If you want to pose a question or make a comment during a show, call 808-374-2014 and help us raise public awareness on ThinkTech. Go ahead, give us a thumbs up on YouTube or send us a tweet at ThinkTechHI. We'd like to know how you feel about the issues and events that affect our lives in these islands and in this country. We want to stay in touch with you and we want you to stay in touch with us. Let's think together. And now, here's this week's ThinkTech commentary. How involved do you think China is in the decision that Kim Jong-un has taken? Strongly. It very strongly. Yeah, what happened? Well, look here. China has bought United States debt. I don't know if people are remembering back as far as 2008, but when our economy collapsed, China used American dollars, which, yes, does, does Trump say they have too many of ours? Maybe they do. But they basically gave it back to us and took over the, these massive debts. We are indebted to China financially. Now, it's true that if China, China called in that debt, they'd sort of be out of luck because all we have to say is no. But then it lends itself to economic chaos internationally. So China has vital interest in the continued survival and, and expansion of the United States economy because if it doesn't, it won't get its interest payments. And as people should know by now, these international loans are never based on ever being paid off. They're based on continual interest payments. If I were China's leadership and I had just secured for myself an ongoing control of the country, which the current head of the Communist Party in China has done, then I would sit down and say what China cares about owning the world's economy. China would like to surpass America in that. The best way to do that is make sure that anyone threatening the United States economy is dampened down. And so it's possible that Kim was more open 
to suggestions that were being made from his only trading partners, all right, and maybe um, did not have to fight so hard to win in this case. Uh, again, I, it's, people keep thinking one person controls everything. Kim Jong-un does not control North, North Korea. His generals control North Korea, and they are protecting their interests. So that's, I mean, that's reality. And people have, a, have an interesting false vision of how things work because we're in America and we have a very isolated view of world politics. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of Think Tech, but first, we want to thank our underwriters. The Atherton Family Foundation, Castle and Cook, Hawaii. The Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education. Collateral Analytics. The Cook Foundation. The Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners. Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology, Hawaiian Electric Companies, the High Tech Development Corporation, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Integrated Security Technologies, Kamehameha Schools, Dwayne Carisu, Carol Mon Lee and the Friends of Think Tech, MW Group Limited, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sidney Stern Memorial Trust, the Volo Foundation, Eureka J. Sugimura. Okay, Cynthia, that wraps up this week's edition of Think Tech. Remember, you can watch Think Tech on Spectrum OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Cynthia does. For additional times, check out OC16.tv. For lots more ThinkTech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on ThinkTech, visit thinktechhawaii.com. Be a guest or a host, a producer or an intern, and help us reach and have an impact on Hawaii. Thanks so much for being part of our ThinkTech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy, diversification, and global awareness in Hawaii, and of course the ongoing search for innovation wherever we can find it. You can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important weekly episode. I'm R.B. Kelly. And I'm Cynthia Sinclair. Aloha, everyone.